I will show you how to create different navigation regions so that you can group different NPCs into different areas. Each of these NPCs have their own navigation agent with different parameters to enable them to have avoidance and to also move across the path and to reach the desired target. So I'll begin by creating a new test scene. So go to scenes folder, test, and then duplicate test scene NPC chicken. Duplicate that and call it test scene NPC and navigation. Let's open that scene. Let's just rename the node. We call that test scene NPC navigation. Just save that. Then I'm going to just remove the camera from the player just so that when we load the test scene, we can just see the full screen viewport. And under the chickens node, I'm just going to remove the navigation region 2D and all the chickens too. So let's now add our fences to our tile map. Let's click objects and then we'll use the game tile set. So click on game tile set so that it opens. And then first let's add a new terrain. Let's add an element and we'll call this fences. And we'll just save that with the default color here. Then click on tile set and go to assets, tile set and find the fences PNG. And then just drag that into the tile set. So for this, we will use all the tiles. So let's just click yes for that. And then we'll just zoom in. And then let's just select the first tile. Click on paint. And then the first thing we want to do is to set the terrain. So we'll say the terrain is set zero and we want to choose fences. So choose the first option and then we'll start to paint. If the color is difficult to see, you can always change the color and make it a little bit easier. So I'll choose something a bit brighter and then I'll just paint these tiles here. So that completes connecting our terrain so that when we then draw the fences, we'll draw the pattern correctly and we'll test this out on our test scene. So the next step is to paint the collision shapes onto the fence poles so that the NPCs and player can't walk through them. So in the paint properties, choose physics layer zero, which if we look at our tile set, the collision layer is already on ground. So the physics layer will look here, which is our first layer here and it will choose the ground option for one. Let's paint the first tile, then choose half pixel snap to allow us to easily set the markers. So we'll just start to pull the markers in. Then once you're happy, just click the tile to paint. Then follow the steps for all of the tiles. Now we can head over to tile map and just look at terrains and there should be a fences terrain now. What we'll do is let's just zoom in on our tiles and let's just draw our first chicken pen. So I'll just click the line here and with fences selected, I'll draw a line here and then I'll just move the player to down here. So let's just view the collision shapes. So just click collision shapes on for debug and then let's just test the scene. You can then tweak the collision shapes if you wish, but I'm just going to leave it for now. Now under the chickens node, let's add a child node and search for navigation region 2D. Then in navigation polygon, choose new navigation polygon. For navigation layers, choose chicken navigation, which is layer one. Then open up navigation polygon and start to draw the points for the navigation. and then bake the navigation polygon. Let's test the scene again, but first go to the debug menu, make sure visible collision shapes is on and also turn on visible navigation. Let's test the scene. As you can see, we've got our navigation region and the fences with collision shapes. However, we would like to subtract the collision shapes from our navigation region. Let's close the window. So in navigation region with navigation polygon on, 
make sure the Porous Collision Mask is selected for the first option, which is Ground. For Porous Geometry Type, we can leave this as Meshes and Static Colliders. Then for the Source Geometry here, for this property, choose Group Explicit, and then copy this group name here. Then click on Objects, go to Node, and we can add this name as a group, and then just turn on Global and click OK. So now this tarmac layer belongs to this navigation polygon group. Then go back to navigation region and click bake navigation polygon again. And as you can see, using group explicit, we've included those tiles and the polygon has rebaked and subtracted all of the collision shapes. Now let's start adding our chickens back to the scene. So we'll go scenes, characters and chicken folder and then drag the chicken scene into our game, then right click and duplicate the chicken. And we'll keep duplicating until we've got many chickens in the scene. Now that we have many chickens in the scene, let's just test the scene again, and let's just observe some of the results of the chickens moving around. Now, as you can see, some of the chickens are starting to cluster around the edges, and they're getting a little bit stuck here, and this chicken is stuck here. So let's make some modifications to our navigation agent 2D to try and prevent some of this behavior happening. So let's head over to the chicken scene and choose navigation agent 2D. And for the path desired distance, let's just reduce this down to 10. And this is the desired distance that the chicken will move away from the path. For the target desired distance, we can just reset this back to 10. And that is the threshold distance that the target is considered to be reached. So we'll just reduce that as well. Then for path post processing, instead of corridor funnel, we'll choose edge centered. And for the meantime, we'll just keep the avoidance enabled. Then on the chicken, let's create a new collision layer. And we'll call this NPC and just place the chicken on the NPC layer. And for now, we'll leave the mask to the ground. Now let's head over to the test scene and let's just run this again. So now that the NPCs are on their own collision layer, they can now move closer together. Also, the post processing path is now set to edge centered, which means as the path has been generated with these red debug lines, instead of being on the edge of the navigation region, they're now in the center. So this is helping the NPCs to not stray too far away from the desired path. Therefore, we don't get them clustering on the edges and getting stuck against the fence's collision shape. Now we can create the pen for the cowls. So I'll just close the window. So I'll click on objects, cow map and fences. And add child node, choose node 2D and rename to cowls. Then add another child node, choose navigation region 2D and then create a navigation polygon. For the navigation layers, choose cow navigation and then draw the polygon. Once that's complete, we can then bake the polygon and to subtract the collision shapes, go to source geometry mode and then choose group explicit and then bake the navigation again. Now let's add our cow scenes. So I'll just go to scenes, characters and cow and then just drag the cow onto the scene. Let's open the cow scene, click on the character, and then just scroll down. And for collision layer, choose NPC, and then turn off that ground layer here. Then click Navigation Agent 2D, and just scroll down, and turn Debug Enabled on. Then head over to the test scene, and run the test scene. So as you can see, the path that's generated is not edge centered, so we need to just modify that. So back in the cow scene, on navigation agent 2D, change path post processing to be edge centered here. Now let's run the test scene once again. And as we can see, we now have edge centered here, which is much better. Let's close that. To go back to chicken, let's just turn off our debug off. Then in cow for navigation agent, let's turn debug off again. And in debug here, let's just turn off visible collision shapes and visible navigation. And then we can run the test scene. 
Now that brings us to the end of this tutorial on how to create multiple NPCs and different navigation regions with adjustments to navigation agent settings so that the agents can move freely around those areas. Please remember to hit like and subscribe to receive future updates of my other tutorials. Thank you for watching.